Yo, what's good YouTube? I am back with another reaction video. And we got NBA Legends explaining how good Magic Johnson really was. Got some Magic Johnson in the building, man. Definitely uh, about to get straight into this video, man. You know, I don't waste no time. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into this video, man. I deeply appreciate y'all too, man. But let's get straight into this video. We ain't gonna waste no time, yo. From rival Larry Bird's stamp of approval to teammate Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's endless praise, these are the NBA legends explaining how crazy good Magic Johnson was. Larry Bird and Magic Johnson's rivalry defined a generation of basketball. It all began with a 1979 NCAA tournament final. Magic's Michigan State Spartans faced off against Bird's Indiana State Hoosiers. Johnson led the Spartans to their first ever national championship, earning tremendous hype leading up to the NBA draft. The then-troubled Los Angeles Lakers had the rights to the number one pick. Without hesitation, they selected Magic with the first pick. And well, the rest is history. The NBA practically revolved around Bird and Magic throughout the 80s, who soaked up all the spotlight and left countless superstars in the shadows. Bird and Magic went on to battle in three NBA Finals. Magic got the better of Bird in two of the three matchups. Despite their heated rivalry, he had nothing but praise for the supernatural point guard. Bird even claimed that Magic was a far better basketball player than he ever was. The legendary Celtic star referred to Magic's unbelievable passing skills as his unique advantage over the rest of the NBA. Bird noted how Johnson impressively turned around. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I know you're going to say Larry Bird, but I want to know who is going to go with Larry Bird or Magic. I go with Larry, of course. Y'all should know that by now. But uh, I don't think that's true. He's just probably just trying to say that, but Larry Bird is not better. <laughs> The dilapidated I mean, Magic is not better than Larry Bird. That's what I meant to say. The franchise, leading the Lakers to five NBA championships. Bird pointed out that Magic brought an excitement to the game, unlike anyone had ever seen. The future Celtic Hall of Famer alluded to the gaping hole left behind by Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell's retirements. The NBA was without a true perennial superstar, until Magic Johnson revolutionized the game. Despite losing to Magic twice in the finals, Larry Legend said he's the best I've ever seen. You know, unbelievable. After Bird retired, he pointed out that Magic was the reason for the current popularity of the NBA. Magic Showtime Lakers sold out stadiums, brought a new type of entertainment value to basketball, and brought viewership numbers to all-time highs. Next on our list of Magic admirers is none other than the greatest to ever suit up. Michael Jordan. While Jordan entered the league just five seasons after Magic, the 1980s belonged to the Lakers superstar, all thanks to the greatness of Magic Johnson. During Jordan's Hall of Fame induction speech, he said that Magic was one of his idols growing up. He followed up his comments by touting Magic as one of the best players in NBA history. MJ reminded us all that the beloved television show Sports Center was created to track Magic's infinite highlight reels. Jordan referred to Magic's unfathomable basketball IQ as the reason he stood out among the cream of the crop. Johnson had the perfect build and skill set to dominate the NBA. Jordan acknowledged Magic as the greatest teammate of all time. While the two never teamed up in the NBA, they had the unique opportunity to share the court as captains of the USA Olympic basketball team. As leaders of the Dream Team, Jordan was given a rare chance to work alongside Magic. The two fierce competitors put their differences aside and led the United States to a gold medal. While MJ isn't known for giving out compliments to just anyone, the GOAT cited Magic as one of his biggest inspirations. Jordan pointed out that no one could keep up with Magic. Not a single NBA player at any position could predict where Magic would send the ball. His unbelievable passing abilities left defenders confused, struggling to keep up. Detroit Piston legend Isaiah Thomas had nothing but admiration for the freakishly talented Magic Johnson. While Thomas and Johnson played the same position, Magic was a full foot taller than the Pistons guard. Thomas noted that Magic was unlike any other player the NBA had ever seen. He hinted at Magic's unique combination of size and skill as difference makers in his game. Magic dominated point guards with his sheer strength and large frame, 
and blew past forwards and centers with his blazing speed. Thomas claimed that Magic revolutionized the game of basketball. His creativity as a playmaker separated him from the pack. Thomas stood no chance against the 6'9 guard when the Pistons faced the Lakers in the 1988 NBA Finals. Magic averaged a double-double in the Finals, scoring 21 points and 13 assists per game. The man guarding him? Isaiah Thomas! Despite losing to Magic in his first-ever Finals appearance, Thomas continued to applaud the Lakers star. He even went on to say Magic was the player he modeled his game after. The Pistons guard went as far to say that he regularly studied Magic's game and spent his first years in the league trying to emulate him. It's clear that Magic was well-respected by players of his generation, but his impact extended well beyond his time in the league. Kobe Bryant, the face of the Lakers franchise in the second millennium, called Magic Johnson the greatest Laker of all time, despite spending his entire career rocking the purple and gold and claiming five titles. Who y'all got? Magic or Kobe? Ooh, that's hard for me, man. Magic or Kobe? When it comes to the Lakers, damn, I, I can't pick, man. I'm going to have to try that at the end of the video. For the franchise in the process, Kobe knew that he had nothing on Magic. The late Kobe Bryant spent his youth gawking at Magic's celestial powers. Kobe said, when I was a kid, Magic was the guy that inspired me to play basketball. He continued by noting, he's 6'9", can handle the ball, can pass, can shoot. He can do everything on the basketball court. Bryant studied the role Magic played for the Showtime Lakers and his assertive presence on the court. The Black Mamba cited Magic as the reason he improved as a passer and playmaker. Kobe commended Magic's dynamism in the paint and hustle on both ends of the floor. Perhaps Magic's greatest quality as a basketball player was his commanding leadership. Since Kobe was a member of the Lakers, Johnson regularly passed along advice to the rising star. Bryant indicated his own leadership qualities were a byproduct of absorbing advice from Magic. The skillful, crafty guard demanded the ball at all times, not for selfish purposes, but to simply find the right pass and best look for his team. Finally, longtime teammate Kareem Abdul-Jabbar claimed Magic as the absolute best to ever play the game of basketball. Kareem started his career on the Milwaukee Bucks before being traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Kareem was a dominant player, winning a championship with the Bucks in 1971. Yet, his legacy truly began with Magic as his teammate. Many NBA fans seem to forget. Magic Johnson introduced Kareem to his signature move. Kareem's infamous skyhook shot came from the wonderfully creative mind of Magic. In Kareem's book, Becoming Kareem, the legendary center credits Johnson for his illustrious career. He claimed Magic deserved all the praise for creating a winning culture in Los Angeles and turning around the Lakers franchise. Kareem was fascinated by Magic's enthusiastic approach to basketball. He noted that Magic brought an element of fun and excitement to the game, unlike anything the league had ever seen. Magic flipped passes across the length of the court with ease. He became famous for the iconic no-look pass, highlighting the massive gulf of skill between Magic and the rest of the NBA. Kareem allegedly always knew that Magic was destined for greatness. The fabled big man said Magic had the ability to see things on the court that other players couldn't even imagine. Remember, this is coming from arguably the most decorated athlete in sports history. As Magic's teammate, Kareem praised Johnson on a regular basis. Despite their partnership as teammates, Kareem was awestruck by his colleague. He said, playing with Magic was like having a conductor lead an orchestra. He knew how to make everyone around him better. Magic's greatest moment came in the NBA Finals, when he was just a rookie. After Kareem injured his ankle in Game 5 against the Sixers, the Lakers were left without a starting center. At 6'9", the 20-year-old Magic Johnson was called upon to start Game 6 at the center. Cheering from the sidelines, Kareem watched as Magic played every single position on the court. Magic scored 42 points to go along with 15 rebounds and 7 assists. Johnson led the Lakers to their first NBA championship in almost a decade and became the first rookie to win Finals MVP. To this day, he is the only rookie to ever claim the prestigious award. Kareem reflected on his first title with the Lakers, giving all the credit to Magic. So from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's endorsement to rival Larry Bird's advocacy, 
Those were the NBA legends explaining how crazy good Magic Johnson was. Okay, Magic, 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 we know about Magic. I mean, I don't know a lot about Magic because I do more of the Larry Bird stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, I thought I'd try something different and uh, definitely, uh, you know, definitely got the Larry Bird and Magic, Michael Jordan and, you know, Pistol P and all. I definitely got some other videos coming, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, that's about it. We on to the next video, man. If you got some videos you want me to do, leave them down in the comments down below. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. Definitely got a lot more videos coming, so definitely look out for that. And uh, that's about it, man. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell, man. I'm uploading every single day. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace. Love y'all.